The following video is intended for mature audiences. It contains horror elements, adult themes, and language that might not be suitable for younger viewers. In our current age marked by frequent natural disasters and climate anomalies, the day after tomorrow is a warning of the possible consequences if we ignore signs of impending environmental catastrophe. Directed by Roland Emmerich, a master of the disaster film genre recognized for his work on Independence Day in 2012, this movie goes beyond being just a visual spectacle to serve as a stark wake-up call. This is especially relevant today when the effects of climate change are becoming increasingly hard to overlook. My real-life experiences with nature's wrath give the day after tomorrow an unsettling relevance. What was once seen as a distant possibility now hits uncomfortably close to our current reality. The core idea of the day after tomorrow is simple but terrifying. What happens when climate change reaches a tipping point and nature responds with an unprecedented series of extreme weather events. The film imagines a situation where global warming triggers another ice age, plunging the world into chaos within days. Melting ice caps disrupt the North Atlantic Ocean's currents, causing a chain reaction that leads to superstorms, sudden freezes, and widespread destruction. The story follows Jack Hall, a paleoclimatologist whose warnings about climate change largely fall on deaf ears until it's too late. Jack's desperate attempt to save his son, Sam, who is trapped in a frozen New York City, forms the emotional heart of the movie. However, beneath this survival story lies a deep examination of human arrogance and our unwillingness to face harsh truths about climate science. What sets The Day After Tomorrow apart from other disaster films is its psychological depth. While delivering plenty of the genre's typical chaos and destruction, it explores the mental and emotional stress of facing an unimaginable situation. Jack's character represents scientists who have long predicted this crisis, but are powerless against political and corporate apathy. His frustration is palpable, reflecting the real-world challenges climate scientists face when trying to convince the world to take action before it's too late. On the other hand, Sam's story centers on survival, as he and his friends take shelter in the New York Public Library, their struggle for warmth and food symbolizes humanity's vulnerability against nature's overwhelming power. Sam's ordeal emphasizes a common theme in survival films, the instinctive drive to survive, even when chances seem slim. His journey involves more than just escaping the storm. It includes dealing with fear, loneliness, and hope in a world turned upside down. One of the most disturbing aspects of The Day After Tomorrow is its depiction of denial and inertia. The film's political leaders closely resemble modern figures who minimize climate change threats despite solid scientific evidence. For example, the vice president ignores Jack's warnings until disaster strikes, a harsh criticism of global government's slow and often indifferent response to environmental crises. This theme of denial raises the film beyond mere spectacle. It serves as a stark critique of our current relationship with our environment. The Day After Tomorrow stands out not just for its stunning visual effects and gripping action sequences, but also for the unnerving realism of its premise given our current environmental issues. Despite being a fictional film, it's grounded in scientific theories that are worryingly plausible. The story may be exaggerated for dramatic effect, but the core science behind ocean currents, polar ice melt, and subsequent weather changes is factual. Indeed, the movie's depiction of a disrupted jet stream and extreme weather events aligns with what experts have been warning about for years. The increasing occurrences of unprecedented hurricanes, polar vortexes, heat waves, and floods are accurately portrayed in the film. For those who've experienced the devastation caused by natural disasters like Hurricane Helene firsthand, this film serves as more than mere entertainment. It's a grim reminder of our planet's fragility.
The special effects in this film are some of the most memorable in disaster cinema. The scenes showing a frozen New York City with well-known landmarks trapped in ice are both awe-inspiring and terrifying. The scale of destruction, from tornadoes ripping through Los Angeles to tidal waves overwhelming Manhattan, is immense. These images stay with you long after you've left your seat, leaving an indelible impression of nature's majestic yet formidable power. Jack Hall is a complex character driven by scientific curiosity and deep responsibility. His urgent need to save his son while grappling with his dire predictions makes him compelling to watch. His character encapsulates dilemmas faced by many climate scientists today, struggling to communicate their concerns in a world often prioritizing economic growth over environmental conservation. Sam Hall's character arc revolves around survival and human resilience. Forced into adulthood prematurely, he takes on a leadership role among his peers as they battle freezing temperatures and dwindling supplies. His goal is simple, survive and find his father again. The strong bond between father and son forms one of the central themes in the movie, a touching commentary on the intergenerational struggle against climate change. The film also introduces characters who represent different facets of humanity's response to disaster. From indifferent government officials downplaying the severity of the situation until it's too late, to ordinary citizens caught in chaos. This diverse cast helps ground the film's epic scenarios in relatable human experiences. The Day After Tomorrow distinguishes itself from typical disaster films by its stark portrayal of nature's wrath. The movie taps into a primal fear. Despite our advanced technology, we are still at the mercy of forces far more powerful than us. The severe weather events depicted in the film symbolize humanity's ongoing battle with climate change. It is not just the storms or freezing temperatures that incite fear, but the idea that we have pushed nature to its brink and it is now retaliating with unrestrained power. What makes this film disturbingly real isn't its science fiction basis, but the potential reality of such extreme weather conditions in our current world. Almost two decades after its release, the warnings of the film resonate even more today. What was once seen as an exaggerated depiction of environmental disaster now seems disturbingly possible. The primary message of the day after tomorrow is clear. We can no longer ignore the signs of climate change. The destruction caused by nature in this movie serves as a cautionary tale for what could happen if we continue to prioritize short-term economic gains over long-term environmental health. More than just another disaster movie, The Day After Tomorrow serves as a warning story. Its combination of impressive special effects, gripping action scenes, and compelling characters sets it apart within its genre. However, its true power lies in its underlying message. This film forces us to confront an unsettling truth. We stand on the edge of environmental collapse and without immediate action, could face dire consequences. For those who have personally experienced nature's destructive capabilities, like myself, the movie is both terrifying and sadly credible. Watching the day after tomorrow. After experiencing a natural disaster gives it added intensity. It acts as a stark reminder that fiction and reality are uncomfortably close. This isn't simply a survival story. It's a call to action. In a time when urgency around climate change is at an all-time high, the day after tomorrow reminds us of what's at stake. It's a film that lingers in your mind well after it ends, not just because of its impressive visual effects, but due to the alarming possibility that it may soon become reality. The Day After Tomorrow is a disaster survival action sci-fi thriller that is two hours and four minutes long and is rated. PG-13, it was a refreshing change to watch a movie where there wasn't constant violence and bloody scenes. However, this film still left me feeling uneasy. I plan on reviewing more movies of this genre in the future, but for now, this is one of my top choices for a disaster film. The Southern Underworld gives it five bloody knives. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. See you next time. Thank you for watching.